Hi, this is Mr. Max again with some Kofa Mathematics. Now, this is my second part on the series of equations which can be reduced to quadratic form, sort of hidden type of quadratic form or quadratic equations. So this is part two. Uh, check out part one if uh, you did not yet do so. So the four equations I have for you here, uh, maybe you can pause the video and maybe you can decide then to try them on your own um, and then have a look and see if you manage to get them correct. So the first one is x raised to the power of 2 over 3 minus 2x raised to the power of a third minus 15 is equal to 0. Then 3 raised, 3 multiplied by 3 to the x all squared minus 28 times 3 to the x plus 9 equals to 0. The third one here is 2 raised to the power of x to 2x to the power of 6 minus 20x cubed plus 32 equals to 0. And then the fourth one you have got 2 multiplied by this stuff here, all squared, plus 5 times the very same stuff, minus 3 equals to 0. So during the course of this video, I'll be using a dummy variable in order to just make it a little bit easier, right? Uh, so that I don't have to work with stuff like this, as you can see at question 4. Okay, so let's see if we start off with question one. All right, so I am slowly, I hope you realize that when you raise x raised to the power of two thirds, that two thirds is the same as two over one times one over three. So basically I can separate them, okay? And that x raised to the power of a third, I'm going to let that be equal to some variable, okay? So this is exactly the same as that. So when I let that equal to some k, it takes the form k squared minus 2k minus 15 equals to 0, which is a very good quadratic equation or straight one forward quadratic equation that I can work with. Now, at the end of the day, I'm going to get that it factorized to k minus 5 and k plus 3 equals to 0, meaning k is equal to 5 or k is equal to negative 3. However, I am not looking for the values of k. I am looking for the values of x raised to the power of a third. Now, when you are familiar, and I hope you're familiar with indices, that if you want this base to be on its own, and it's raised to the power of a third, you need to cube it. So you're going to cube both sides, giving you that x is 125, or x is equal to negative 27. Now, you're not completely done, because there's some roots here, and you need to be able to check by putting these answers back into the original equation and see whether they give you zero. Right, so I have done them here, but you feel free to use your calculator. And if the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, then it means the solutions x 125 or x equals to negative 27 both checks out. So basically, these two answers are then accepted. The second one is quite straightforward. When you can see that 3 raised to the power of x, I can just let that be equal to some k. And then I have got 3k squared minus 28k plus 9. Obviously, if I factorize it, um, you're going to get 3k in bracket k minus 9 minus 1, k minus 9. So obviously, the two answers are k is equal to a third or k equals to 9. Again, I'm not looking for the values of k, but I'm rather looking for the values of 3 raised to the power of x. Now, once you're dealing and you know how to deal with exponential equations, you're going to try to make the bases the same. So 1 over 3 is the same as 3 raised to the power of negative 1, and 9 is the same as 3 squared. So once the bases are the same, you can drop them and you can equate the indices. So x is equal to negative 1 or x equals to 2. Again, you have to take these answers and check whether they check out, okay? So if you punch in on the left-hand side, you get 0 if x is negative 1. If x is 2 and you punch in everywhere at x where there is a... Uh, everywhere at x you input the 2, you'll also end up with 0, which means, again, x equals to negative 1 and x equals to 2 are solutions to this equation. The third one, 2x two raised, two raised to the power of 6 minus 20x cubed plus 32 equals to 0. Again, split that x raised to the power of 6 as x cubed. 
square. Remember, I want the square on the outside. That's one of the things. And the x cube should be identical to the x cube here in the middle. And again, I'm going to let that be some constant. And obviously, I'm dealing with 2k squared minus 20k plus 32 equals to 0. And I'm just going to simplify that equation as 2 is a common factor. Dividing right through by 2, you get k squared minus 10k plus 16 equals to 0, which factorizes to k minus 8, k minus 2 equals to 0. Those are two values of k are 8 and 2 respectively. But again, we're not looking for the values of k, but rather for the values of x cubed. So x cubed is equal to 8 or x cubed is equal to 2. So to get rid of the inverse of something cubed is the cube root of that. Now the cube root of 8 is 2, but the cube root of 2, I'm just going to leave it because it's an irrational number. So I'm going to leave my answer in that form. Again, feel free always to check your answers once you are in plugging or plugging in 2 for x does it give you 0 and once you plug in the cube root of 2 does it also give you 0 and if that is the case as I have mentioned the left hand side equals the right hand sign for both of these scenarios then x equals to 2 or x equals to the cube root of 2 are then solutions to the equation 2x raised to the power of 6 minus 20x cubed plus 32 equal to 0 the fourth one is a little bit tricky because it's quite long and you need to have patience whenever you're dealing with this particular question. Right, so I'm starting right off as to say that stuff there in the bracket, I'm just going to let it equal to some constant and I can then easily deal with that quadratic. So it factorizes nothing to um, 2k minus 1 and k plus 3 equals to 0. So I can actually now calculate the values of k. k is equal to 1 half or k is it equal to negative 3. Again, I'm not looking for the value of k. That was just a method. So I'm going to bring back that 2x plus 1 over x. So the two possibilities will be 2x plus 1 over x equals to 1 half or 2x plus 1 over x equals to negative 3. So these are going to become quadratic equations. So I'm going to first start off with one, then the other one to see if they do in fact, um, if you can find the answers for x. Right, so if I decide to use 2x plus 1 over x equals to 1 over 2, and then I just on the left hand side try to, remember there are different ways that you can do this. So what I do is on the left I'm making the denominator the same because I want to create one term. And x is the common denominator so that on one on top becomes 2x squared plus 1 all over x. And I can cleverly then maybe say cross multiply here. And once you do that, you end up with 4x squared plus 2 is equal to x. Remember that 2 is multiplying with the 2x squared, and that 2 also multiply with that 1, that positive 1 there. Rearrange them in the standard form for quadratic equations. Now, once you are here, you probably have to look at a few things. And one of the things you should realize is that you take the products of 4 and 2, that's 4 times 2, which gives you 8, they will never add up to negative 1. Simply, if you use the discriminant, and I hope you are familiar with this, that stuff will be under the square root when you use the quadratic equation formula. And the square root of a negative number does not exist, so therefore this particular equation has no solutions. Okay, So we're not even going to bother about that. So that's going to bring us to the other one, the 2x plus 1 over x equals to negative 3. And let's see if it factorizes or if it can be solved. Right, bringing that one, you have got 2x plus 1 over x equals to negative 3. Again, I'm going to use the same methodology like I did before. 2x squared plus 1 all over x. And I'm going to cross multiply. Okay, I'm going to decide to have the negative 3 on the right. So negative 3 times x. And the other one, just like that, dropping the brackets, obviously, leaves you with 2x squared plus 1 equals to negative 3x. And rewrite them in standard form, 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals to 0. So now, this particular equation you can solve it. So I'm just going to factorize it. It factors to 2x plus 1, x plus 1 equals to 0. So of course, the two solutions for x are negative 1 half or x is equal to negative 1. But you need to check. So that means go way back to the original equation and substitute 
for negative one half and you see the left side gives you whatever is on the right side and also if you do the same for negative one then you should also realize that the left side is equal to the right hand side therefore the two values of x x equals to negative a half or x equals to negative one are the solutions to this particular equation right so that was quite a bit please pause make sure that you follow the steps correctly and you don't make mistakes along the way don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also click that notification bell so that every time I upload videos, you are notified when I do so.